Hello and welcome back to Dukas Copy TV. Now agriculture, it's been a challenging year this year for many farmers, particularly in the US where we've had a drought and also we've had Hurricane Sandy. But how has this affected prices and of course the supply as we go into 2013? Well with me in the studio today is Dimitri Chura, investment analyst at Eurofin Capital. Uh, Dimitri, welcome into the studio. Pleasure to be here. Um, just focusing on that uh, question really, um, as we go into 2013, um, how, how, do, how do you assess the current situation with some of the uh, agricultural commodities such as the grains for instance? Uh, in overall, in the short term, I'm quite uh, bullish on, on agricultural commodities. Uh, we had a drought all over all over the really globe, uh, drought in Mexico, drought in Brazil, U.S. Uh, as well Russia, Eastern European blocks. So overall, uh, the the demand is there. We have we're going to have China, which is going to be growing around three to six percent this year, uh, and and uh, upcoming in 2013. Uh, we have the level and prices more or less leveled out in Europe. We're gonna have, we're gonna know what's gonna happen in Europe and Japan. Uh, in uh, US, uh, we're gonna expect as well about 60 percent uh, uh, of the researchers uh, expect 2013 to be a drought year, and 13 percent expect to be a significant drought year. Uh, so we, I'm very, uh, very bullish on overall commodities, particularly wheat. And we're expecting quite a lot of volatility going into 2013 as well, I'm, I'm assuming. Well, I mean, the weather at this point is very becoming very sporadic, very unpredictable. Uh, we've seen in the past uh, year uh, hurricane events uh, and so forth. Uh, so the grain market's always been quite volatile, but certainly volatility will increase throughout 2013. Uh, so I expect it. To, to, you have to have um, really high nerves to stay in uh, commodity markets, particularly agriculturals. Okay, what about the issue of supply? Um, because obviously it's been a challenging year uh, this year. Food prices have gone up. Uh, they sort of stabilised at one point, and but there's fear of them continuing to rise in 2013. This is obviously meaning that there's a shortage of certain uh, uh, agricultural goods and therefore I presume it would es essentially affect the soft commodities market. Is there going to be, are you concerned at all as, a, as a, um, an investment analyst, is, uh, are you concerned at all about supply? in 2013? Uh, I do, I do. It certainly concerns me. Uh, the issue there as well, it's not only what there's not enough of uh, supply out there, uh, what supplies are at uh, historical minimums, uh, but as well there's a political factor. Uh, people, as we saw the revolutions which happened uh, uh, when uh, we see in, in Egypt and Tunis, uh, part of part of the start of it was actually the people were unhappy about food prices. So the economical factor is very, is very much present there and the government, the political issues, governments will try to uh, fight against higher pr uh, food prices. It's just a question of whether or not they're going to be successful enough. Uh, short term, there are certain, um, uh, there are certain uh, barriers which governments can put in place. Uh, to prevent from higher food prices, uh, tapping in into the existing storages, but over mid to long term, it's simply impossible. The food price is going to have to go up. Uh, the demand is there. Demand will be there. Uh, Chinese market, like as I mentioned earlier, is growing. Uh, so the question of, of a supply, uh, there's we have really big issues going there, and you know it, it's, it can lead to quite. Uh, quite large political, significant political instabilities uh, around the world. Okay, so from Eurofin Capital's point of view, what are you expecting going into 2013 as far as where to invest in certain soft commodities? Let's take, for instance, the grains, uh, as for example. Wh where would be your investment going into 2013? Where would you put it? Well, it's very important to say if we take year to date, uh, both wheat and corn, for example, the, the year to date, they, double, they return double digits. Uh, they returns on double digit figures. Uh, on my side, I would expect it to go on. Uh, the rally will go up, uh, like as, as I said, because the demand is there, supply uh, is not there. Uh, so for me, if I would have to point out probably the commodity out of all uh, grain, out of grain commodities, which will outperform in 2013, uh, I would have to bet on wheat. 
it's, it's here to date, uh, it's up 10%. Uh, it has the room to grow. Uh, again, uh, what's going to happen with weather, uh, but uh, from uh, what we've seen right now, there's going to be more droughts. The markets haven't recovered. Uh, farmers haven't recovered essentially from last year droughts. Uh, so the demand uh, will be uh, demand will be there. Uh, I've asked you about investments in soft commodities. Um, if you had to invest $1 million out of this uh, list of asset classes, we've got real estate, equity, bonds, gold, cash, or oil, uh, where would you put that $1 million? I would be probably uh, about 80% real estate. Uh, I believe the real estate uh, bottomed out significantly. Uh, so. Uh, it doesn't have that much room uh, on the downside, I believe. So it's just gonna, it's gonna, from now on, it's gonna go up. And 20% in gold. 20% gold. Always 20 have a bit of gold just in <laughs> case. Yeah. Dimitri, thank you very much for coming into the studio uh, once again. Pleasure to be here. Uh, that's all we've got time for on Dukas Copy TV just for the moment. But we've got a busy week this week with plenty of interviews to bring you, and of course those exclusive updates as well. So until next time, goodbye. <laughs>